investing in infrastructure development and youth empowerment immensely contributes to sustainable development. This, in fact, is securing a better future for our generations to come. Honorable ministers and respected invited guests, the higher unemployment rate amongst the youth across the SADC region remains a very explosive situation and a cause for concern. Thus, one is most thankful to the SADC Secretariat, which commissioned a situational analysis study on the youth innovation, entrepreneurship, leadership, and participation in the SADC region. The findings for, force us as governments to, pa, to, pa, to pause and reflect on whether the current youth programs have any positive impact on youth. That's, that's very key. Do the programs we have in place yield the desired outcome or result? That's one question. We have to ask ourselves, colleagues, that, uh, you know, the strategies or plans that we are putting in place, are they really meeting the needs of our young people? That's a question that we really need to ask ourselves. Where do we need to change? And who needs to change and how? How can we collectively, through various sectors, deliver on youth empowerment? We cannot and should not expect positive change if we continue to address youth development the same way, the same way year and year out.